four chords you just heard are what we are investigating in this second episode of Improv for Beginners Series 2, with a bonus of some Aussie English explained at the end. My name's Tim and there'll be seven short videos in this series, each exploring seven unique and original chord progressions, all beginning on one of the tonic and ending on four of the subdominant. But each journey will be quite different and very interesting. They are based on the seven single altered scales as found in our ebooks, only available from our website at myaim.com.au. Let's begin. G'day improvators and welcome to My Aim, the improvised line and innovative method, designed to help you create your own ideas on musical improvisation and composition in the 21st century. So today we're having a look at the sharp two scale, number two in our single altered scales that are available in our ebooks from myaim.com.au. So let's compare it to the major scale and the sharp two. Today's chord progression is one, six, seven, four. Pretty interesting chord progression. And we'll have a look at which chords change because we've got that altered note in the scale. So when we're looking at the triads, We've got a major triad in the major scale, then the relative minor, a diminished, and a major. When we do the sharp two, one of the chords will change. So we've got major, minor, half diminished, and then the major. So it's just the seventh note of the scale in this chord progression of one, six, seven, four that changes. When we look at the tetrachord, the four note chords, it's still only the one that changes. So we've got a major seventh, minor seventh, a half diminished seventh, and a major seventh. When we do the sharp two, we've got a major seventh, the relative minor seventh, a dominant seventh flat five, and a major seventh. So let's have a listen to those sharp two tetrachords in their arpeggio format. So let's see if we can make something up using those new chords.
So there you have it, using that simple corporation of 1674 and using that sharp two note, you can make up a simple little tune. Your turn to have fun with it, play with it, see what comes up. Up to you. Have fun. It's still here. So today's word in our Aussie English that I thought we'd have a look at is the word butte. Butte. It means very good. First class. Excellent. The word beauty, when standing alone and spoken empathetically, is an exclamation of approval. That car looks beaut. That was a beaut day out. Beaut. It's a good time. I'm Tim. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up, leave a comment and remember to subscribe. To learn more about music improvisation and composition, click on either of the screens you see here. You can also follow us on social media at Twitter and Facebook as well as here on YouTube. Your support is greatly appreciated.